right, Capricorn. What's up? What's good, Capricorns? If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Mwah, mwah, mwah. God damn it, welcome. Uh, my name is Queen of Wands 1111. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm so happy and grateful that you guys are here. And for all the returning subscribers, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much. I see that your spirit guides have led you back here to the channel. All right. We got some messages from the universe. Let's see what the universe wants you to know. Capricorn. Let's see what the universe wants you to know. This is for the female and male genders. Take this reading how it may resonate. Apply it where it needs to be applied to and leave what does not. What's this? Storm warning. Oh, gosh. There's an upheaval, obstacles, wrecking ball. There's some sort of drama. Divine timing. It's the wrong time for something. Someone could be at a stalemate. Something's not moving. Someone uh could be waiting for something here. All right. Break up. Oh, my God. Walking away, ending, separation, it's over. So I feel like you've ended something here with someone. All right? You've walked away from someone or you withdrew your energy from them. Family. Generations, children, ancestors, origin. Okay? So you may have a family with this person. Change. A lot of things are changing here. Okay, there's growth in your energy. You're going through a metamorphosis. You're changing. Okay. You may have your parents or grandparents around you. But you're connected to your ancestors here. Messages for Capricorn. What does the universe want you to know? What's this? Reconciliation. Somebody wants to reconcile with you after a breakup. So you broke up with them or they broke up with you. Somebody wants a second chance. They want to get back together. Yeah, an ex-lover is missing you here, Capricorn. They're looking at pictures. They're stuck on the past. You're like an old flame. They want to rekindle the flame here. There's some sort of nostalgia. A lot of you are single here. You feel alone. You could be isolating yourself. You feel lonely and you're guarded. You could be going out to the bar to get a drink. You're like, damn it, I need a drink. This shit. All right, I feel like your friends are around you or you may have friends that you trust. You may eat pizza or have fun with these friends. Yeah, spiritual awakening. You're being enlightened to something. Okay, somebody's having an epiphany or this could be you. Life lessons are being learned. I'm seeing a rebirth in your energy here, Capricorn. What does the universe want you to know? Okay, some of y'all, somebody wants to take you out on a date. Somebody wants to meet up with you. All right, but this is a snake. Somebody shady. There's deception, temptation, enemy. Somebody's a player. You're going to get signs and synchronicities about this charming, manipulative karmic. I feel like you're being tested. Yeah, they feel like it's no coincidence meeting you. Or I feel like the signs and synchronicities that you're going to get is not a coincidence. These are messages from the universe. All right, let's see what the hell is going on here. Why is Storm warning here? For Capricorn. Unexpected outcome. Yeah, things didn't go the way they were supposed to be planned in this connection. All right. I feel like things took a turn here. Things went left. It didn't go right. It went left. Okay. Why is divine timing here? Clarify divine timing. Indecisive. Yeah, so somebody has an inability to make a decision and that hurts you. All right, the breakup is overwhelming somebody. This could be you or your person. The stress from this is draining someone. All right, I feel like with this ex-lover, this could be you uh, going back on the past here, looking at the part that you played in this connection. I feel like the lessons you learned from this will never be forgotten, okay? Shadow side. So I feel like you've made them realize their flaws. This person is working on their shadow side. All right. You may have a family with this person. Clarify family. Yeah, third party. Okay. So they can have children with another person. Or they have children with you. But I feel like there were other things that got in the way of y'all being together. This could be a job. This could be this person's friends or like another lover here. 
Okay, third party is usually another lover. All right? Hmm. It could also be their children that's getting in the way of y'all being together. Change is being clarified by runner. This person is a runner. They may go running in the morning, the afternoon, or at night. They don't want to run anymore. This person was running from themselves, and I feel like they're stopping. They're stopping in their tracks. They don't want to run anymore. This person may run track, or this is you. They want to reconcile with you. They miss you as being clarified by absence. I feel like a part of them is missing without you, okay? Your single is being clarified by regret. Yeah, they wish this would have never happened, or this is you. All right, but I feel like you're going through a spiritual awakening right now. You're connecting to your ancestors, the universe, your spirit guides. Clarify spiritual awakening. Reflecting, yeah, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. So I feel like you're gaining clarity being away from this person. Somebody wants to meet up with you, take you out on a date. This could be your ex-lover, this snake here that can't be trusted, this player, or this could be someone new. Okay, someone's always longing for you. They're daydreaming about you and fantasizing about you. Snake is being clarified by sabotage. This person messes up good things in their life sometimes. This could be a job. This could be a relationship, families. Player is being clarified by dishonesty. This player is going to come back around to you and I feel like the universe is testing you. All right, this is a test. Lying rip y'all apart. All right, you're getting signs and synchronicities from the universe to start a new chapter and move on. I feel like that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to move on and focus on your self-love. You're still trying to heal from this person who betrayed you. I feel like y'all have a lot of disagreements here, okay? You feel like this person doesn't understand you. You wish they would understand how you feel. Yeah, I may have been engaged or talked about getting engaged or getting married here in the future, but I feel like... This person wants to commit to you, <laughs> but you just wish they understood how you feel. I feel like when they don't understand how you feel, it upsets you, okay? It makes you feel some sort of way here, Capricorn. All right. Let me put these cards away and get you some more messages from the universe. How y'all doing? Oh, this sucks. There's always a player in the damn mist. And I wish this ad was skippable. But it's not. I like to bring y'all some nice images that y'all can look at. Because my desk is turned a certain way. So I can't really show myself because my desk is turned a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into the reading and see what the heck is going on here. I'm being told to pull this deck here. The red deck. You could be connected to a fire sign or you have fire highly aspected in your chart. Okay. One more shuffle. I saw that player card. Uh, I saw it. I saw it. Mm -mm -mm. Messages for Capricorn. What does the universe want you to know? What does the universe want you to know? Messages for Capricorn. All right, true love. Experiencing wholeness. I feel like this person experiences wholeness with you. They want a long-lasting bond with you or you felt like this would be a long-lasting bond. You love this person unconditionally, but they could be trapped in something, stuck in something. You're paralyzed by love. You're withdrawing your feelings. You're holding back here. You have a fear of falling. You have a fear of falling in love with this person because you don't want this person to play you or hurt you. Yeah, love activation. I feel like their heart is opening up for you now. This person has a lot of passion for you. They're going through an awakening. All right? They want to make a romantic gesture to you. Something extravagant. They want to walk the talk and prove to you that they've changed or they want to make it up to you. They want to make something up to you here. All right? Messages for Capricorn. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. What messages do you have for Capricorn? Oh, okay. But the love is just unrequited here. It's one-sided. You feel like this person doesn't understand you. They only want to look at one side of the story. There's not enough attraction. The feelings are not mutual. Look at all these cards that fell out of the deck. 
Yeah, I'm telling y'all this person is a player. I'm telling y'all I saw this card. This person is a player playing the field, refusing to commit. They felt like the grass was greener. They have a grass is greener syndrome. They feel like they can always find somebody better who can offer them more or who, who has more um, to bring to them, something like that. All right, this person is a chaser. They like the chase, they like the thrill, but I feel like this person, they, they know you have low self-esteem or that's how they feel. They feel like you have abandonment issues or this is them, all right? This person is intimidated by your beauty. They're jealous of your beauty because your beauty stands out. I feel like this person wants to come in and make you a love offer, a sincere offer of love. Could be a romantic gift or they want to express their love to you because they know that you are loyal to them. You're solid. You keep it 100. You love them and supported them. You created stability and security in this connection. All right. So I feel like you were pretty stable and this person was unstable here in this connection. Yeah. They just had you going in circles. All right. They kept repeating cycles with you, making no progress. They weren't learning any lessons. I feel like y'all mirroring each other's energy. I feel like when y'all went out, if y'all went out together, for some of you, y'all matched clothes here, matched each other's flower, wore the same color. All right, y'all may talk alike, act alike, think alike, but I feel like something needs healing between the two of you. This person sees themselves in you, but they see you on a higher spiritual level. Yeah, the star is jumping out. So I feel like you're doing the healing work. There's a bright future ahead of you, okay? I feel like your hope is being renewed and restored here because I feel like a lot of you lost hope. You guys may have lost a little bit of faith here too. You guys may have been depressed over this situation, all right? But I feel like this person plays the victim. If you haven't been depressed, they are because they're in regret now, all right? They feel guilty. They feel remorseful. <clears throat> Excuse me. They want to undo the damage that they caused, but I am seeing new love here. So this new love is someone that you may have met already or you're getting ready to meet this new love. And I feel like this is someone better. I do feel like this person may want to take you out on a date. All right. Yeah. This The person that's a player may feel like you may have sex with this new love or you could be sleeping with someone else here. That doesn't have to be true, but I feel like this person feels like you're sleeping with someone else. All right. You may have had like a very sexual relationship with this person that you're connected to. Or well, this person is connected to you in some sort of way, all right? And they're jealous. They're really, really jealous because they don't want you to sleep with anybody else, even though they wanted to sleep around. They're attached to you, okay? They want you to themselves. They have a fear of losing you. This person is focused on the past memories here, all right? They're thinking about the good and the bad times. There's nostalgia here and their feelings here. I feel like this person is stuck in the past here, but they had you waiting, you know, waiting to get a commitment or waiting to come back around, call, text. This person was not taking action towards you. There were some standstills and delays or they feel like you got them waiting. Messages from the universe for Capricorn. What messages does the universe want you to know? What messages does the universe want you to know for Capricorn? Sun, moon, or rising? Yeah. This person caused you a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain, a lot of sorrow. You may have been uh, crying over this situation. You've been hurt. I feel like you may have been stuck in the past and unable to move on from this person. Or it's this person who feels this way. But I'm definitely seeing a breakup. All right. Yeah. I feel like this relationship was just very toxic here. All right, this person's not good for you right now. I feel like they're low vibrational. They uh, operate from their self node, okay? This was a toxic relationship. Yeah, this was a soulmate here. You felt happiness when you were connected to this person. I feel like you felt this person made you happy. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, I'm telling y'all, there's a third party here. There's another lover. A love triangle. So this person was trying to put you in a third party or they already did put you in a third party. All right. There was some sort of competition or an enemy here. Somebody sees you as an enemy or you see them as an enemy. But something was definitely interfering here. All right. Yeah. Timing again. So no, it was the wrong time. 
it's not the right time for you two to talk or come back together. Or this person could be waiting for the right time to come towards you. Yeah, I feel like they friend zoned you because there was a third party. And now they feel like they're against time. They know they're walking on thin ice with you because they took a long time to come towards you, explain themselves, give you an apology, or offer you commitment. And you're cutting this person out. You're cutting your losses here. You're in separation. Yeah, you 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 leaving before things get worse because you don't see things getting any better between the two of you. And I feel like you have options here, but you fear choosing the wrong person. But there's some sort of divine intervention. I feel like the angels are helping you. Okay, believe in miracles. Trust the divine plan. So the divine has a plan for you. All right. But this person, they definitely friend zoned you, put you in a third party situation because they just felt like they were connected to someone else more than you. And I don't know who this third party is specifically. It could be anybody. But I just feel like your person did you dirty. They did you wrong. You know, they weren't ready to settle down. They wanted their freedom. They didn't want to lose it. They were used to living the life that they live and they still wanted to have you you know, in their uh, energy. So I feel like this person just wants their cake and eat it too. That's what I feel like. Long story short, <laughs> it's the swords at the bottom of the deck. That's the truth. This person just wanted to have their cake and eat it too. But I feel like you're getting clarity. You know the truth about this person here. I feel like there's a breakthrough in the communication. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. All right, but I do see a cutting out here. You're cutting this person off. You're cutting this person out. All right. What's this? Yeah. And they're mad as hell. They want to communicate with you, but they're mad as hell because you're cutting them off. You're cutting them out. Some of you blocked this person. Could definitely be an air sign due to the heartbreak, the trauma that they caused you, the deception, the pain. There was definitely a third party here. And I feel like you're putting something to rest. This is definitely an air sign. This could also be in your thoughts too as well. But I feel like you've been trying to get more sleep, trying to get more rest here. Some of y'all ain't been getting a lot of sleep because of this heartbreak. Some of y'all been very disappointed. All right. And I feel like you're getting more sleep. You're recharging your crystals if you have any. You're getting your mind right. You could be taking a day off from work. You could be calling out from work here. All right, yeah, because some sort of tower moment, something unexpected has happened here. Something unpredictable. All right, this person may have a temper problem here. And I feel like you're withdrawing your energy from this person. But even though you're going through a tower moment, it could be with a Scorpio, a Leo. Okay, the universe is reaching out to you right now and telling you at this time, please have strength here. Yeah, because you feel abandoned by this person. You feel like this person left you out in the cold here. You may have abandonment issues. All right. I feel like there was a separation, a breakup with the five of pentacles. This person could be sick. This person may have financial issues or this is you. I feel like this person got kicked out. You kicked them out or they may have put you out. I don't know who got put out here, but somebody got put out of the house. All right. If you didn't get put out, you just feel abandoned, neglected and left out in the cold here. All right. I do see a blessing coming through for you as well. So let's continue. All right. You may feel like the world is against you. You may feel like you're on the wrong side of the fence. You may feel like you're facing bad luck or something like that. Or it could be this person because maybe you put their ass out and now they feel left out in the cold. Yeah, some of you, this person was married. Others of you talked about getting married, but you felt like things were all good between you and this person. You felt like you two were happy. All right. Y'all may have lived together. Y'all may have been engaged. Or y'all talked about this. But I feel like you get a new home. You could be having a party, a celebration. You could be invited to a wedding or an anniversary party here. All right. You could be celebrating something. But I feel like you guys are going to be happy because you're manifesting. You could be manifesting a new home here or you're close to finding it. Yeah, this person could have been married and living with someone else for some of you. But I feel like with the fool, they took a risk in you guys' connection and did something. All right. This person thought you was a fool. They thought you were naive here. But I feel like you're going towards the new. This could be an Aries. 
This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, you accused them of something or they've been accusing you of something here. They had this carelessness type of energy like they didn't give a fuck for real. They just wanted to go off the beat of their own drum. All right. And I feel like this person was pushing you away, shunning you off. But I feel like you blocking this person. You're being protected as well by the universe. You're standing your ground here. You're putting your foot down and you're setting healthy boundaries here. All right. You may have been attacking this person or this person was attacking you. All right. Yeah, the lovers. I feel like I had a lot of sex with this person or this person was having sex with someone else. But I definitely feel like you felt like this was a soulmate, but there was a choice between two here. Yeah, you're healing. Okay, Archangel Raphael and Gabriel is here to help you heal. Okay, they're offering you love. I feel like your emotions is being balanced out as well. I feel like spirit is telling you to be patient here. Yeah, there is some confusion and illusion in you guys' connection. But I'm also seeing that you have options. You have a lot of people who want to court you, take you out on dates, talk to you. But spirit is telling you to be patient. All right, if you have a lot of options. I also feel like somebody caused an illusion, all right? And they want to apologize to you, all right? They want to tell you they're sorry. They could be offering you a drink or bringing a bottle over. This is romantic or this person may try to seem like they're being romantic, all right? I feel like they trying to make it seem like insincere here, their apology. Yeah, they really want to talk to you, all right? This could be someone else coming towards you to offer you love, wanting to get to know you. This could be somebody you met online or while traveling. Yeah, this person does want to talk to you with the Queen of Swords, but I feel like you are icing this person out. You're cutting them off. You're cutting people, places, and things off in your life that no longer serve your highest, highest good. And I really do feel like there was a lot of drama between you and this person with the Five of Wands. And because you cut them off and turned your back on them, they're mad as hell. They're pissed off because you're exploring, expanding, and seeing what else is out there. This could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius you're connected to. But I feel like there was a lot of arguments between the two of you. Or if you speak to this person, there will be an argument. You could be fussing or even fighting with this person. All right? I feel like this person is patiently waiting to talk to you. But there could be some sort of drama. There's competition, jealousy, envy. Yeah, because you're turning your back. You're done with this person. Ten of Swords, it's over. Finito. I feel like this person betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back here. Yeah, the universe has a lot of good things in store for you. A lot of good changes is coming in for you. I feel like you had a birth chart reading or you will have a birth chart reading here. But I'm also feeling like the tables is turning. Yeah, the tables is turning. I'm telling y'all, this person can't be trusted. They're a liar, a cheater, a thief. And I feel like they're trying to sneak in and they're being very strategic. They're trying to plan something. Why is the Seven of Swords here? This person could be plotting and planning something here. All right. <clears throat> but I just feel like you could be making your escape or you just don't trust this person. Yeah, they're plotting and planning to have sex with you. All right. They want to have sex with you. But I feel like your intuition is on point about this person. All right. They may have had good sex. But I feel like you're being quiet. You're being mysterious here. You're not saying anything. You're watching a lot of tarot readings or you're getting information from the universe in your tarot readings. Somebody's uh, initials could be B or J. I'm also seeing that this person hid a lot of things from you. Or they cheated on you with a fire sign with someone here or an air sign. They was being sneaky and went and had sex with someone else and with a, a high priestess. They didn't tell you. They was keeping this a secret from you. But your intuition was... Telling you something, but I feel like you may have not been able to put your finger on it or it was on point. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you may have been doing a little bit of spying here to see what this person was up to, what they was doing. Yeah, and it, it led you to disappointment. All right? I feel like this person doesn't want to be seen. I feel like they could be in hiding right now. Yeah, the devil. This person is toxic and low vibe. They have an addiction to sex, alcohol, drugs, binge watching, gambling. I feel like it was really hard for you to let this person go. This person may have ghosted you or you ghosted them. It could be a Virgo here. Okay, y'all may have been toxic together in this connection. But I'm seeing here that this person 
doesn't want to be seen. All right? They may be watching you, spying on you at night. They could be the one spying on you, riding past your house, your job, asking somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows you what's going on. And they're upset because they haven't heard from you or seen you. All right? They're obsessing over you. Yeah, I feel like you're not interested in this person no more. I feel like we are with the Six of Swords, you're moving on. You're moving forward with the uh, Six of Cups. I mean, the Eight of Cups, I'm sorry. You're walking away. You're walking away from this person. All right? You, you're going towards your Nine of Cups, your happiness. Or somebody more stable, solid, and loyal here. I feel like this person uh, gets bored very easily. You could be bored with them. You're unhappy. You're dissatisfied. All right? I feel like you're not feeling this person no more. You could be booking flights overseas here or you're just moving at a distance from this person. You're moving on and you're moving forward to a place of peace and calm and waters. You're detaching from someone who you were emotionally connected to. This could be a water sign, an air sign, a fire sign. I'm not really seeing your energy here, uh, Capricorn. So I feel like this reading is all about your person, the player. This reading is all about them, okay? And your thoughts here. All right. So you guys, uh, if you like this reading, make sure that you guys like this reading, comment up below this reading, share this reading for your girl, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so, so much. Leave me a comment, turn your post notifications on to ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for y'all. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time. Bye, Capricorn. I'll see y'all in the next week.